Good morning, this is Pramod Jaiswal from English Chronicles. Today I am going to take up a question from the drama section, Hamlet. <coughs> the question is, discuss Ham Hamlet as a revenge play. <coughs> Hamlet is a revenge tragedy. At present we are going to discuss how the play is a revenge play. As we progress, we can come to know that there are four murders for which revenge has to be taken. The first one is King Hamlet murdered by Claudius. And Hamlet is committed to kill Claudius. The second one is Polonius who is killed by Hamlet. And his son Lacrets, Lacertus is bent to avenge his father's death. The third one, Fortin Bras, invades the kingdom of Denmark to avenge his father's death. And the fourth one is that Pyrrhus' father was killed by Priam and Pyrrhus kills Priam. So Hamlet is visited by the ghost of his father. That is how the play begins. He was unaware. Hamlet was informed by the ghost rather. And ghost is of his father. First he didn't believe that it was the ghost of his father. But the ghost tried to convince him that he was his father's ghost. The ghost informed him that Claudius had killed him. He also reminded Hamlet to be kind to his mother who married hastily with Claudius. This was the biggest mistake. Hamlet did not like it. But Hamlet was not convinced until he is confronted again by the ghost. Hamlet feigned means pretended to be mad. He wanted to be convinced. Secondly, he couldn't muster up his courage, means gather up his courage to take revenge. He is a simple, ideal person, not very uh, rustic and doesn't believe in voluntary actions. Once Hamlet got a chance to kill Claudius when he was praying, but it is a belief against ethic that while praying someone kills him. But there was also one belief that killing while praying would send him to heaven and he wanted Claudius to go to hell to suffer because he has murdered his father. It is only at the end of the play that Claudius is killed by Hamlet who also pours poison down his throat to assure to be convinced of his death. When Gertrude called Hamlet in her chamber, she is her mother. Polonius wanted to overhear their conversation. So he hid himself behind the tapestry, behind the curtain. <coughs> A hot conversation took up between mother and son, which resulted in his mother cry. She cried loud. So Polonius thought that something is in danger, she is in danger. She called out and he called out for help. And Hamlet being so suspicious, uh, he couldn't believe what to do, what not to do. Unknown of Polonius hiding behind the curtain, thrust the sword through the curtain, thereby killing Polonius. So his body was taken care of by Hamlet. That should not be revealed. Laertes, now this is second one, was bent upon taking revenge. It was only in the end of the play that Claudius planned a very dirty sword fight. Means something evilous, something malified planning. He wanted that Hamlet should be killed. That's why this was a sort of a conspiracy. 
So he arranged a dirty fight, sword fight between Laertes and Hamlet. He will have Laertes sword sharp and poisoned, whereas he managed Hamlet's sword to have a blunt sword. But during the fight, a scuffle took place and their swords were somehow exchanged. What happened? Now the Hamlet got the poisoned sword and Laertes got the blunt one. As a result, both of them were killed. Hamlet had pitied and allowed Laertes to avenge his father's death. Hamlet helped Fortinbras, now this is another one, taking revenge, and asked him to move to Denmark with his army. Fortinbras invaded the kingdom of Denmark to avenge his father's death. So if you have liked my explanation, answer to the question, it will be helpful for your exam. Please subscribe to my channel, press the link button and sure. Thanks once again for watching my video and share among your friends. Have a nice day.